This is Arit from Time Value of Tennis and today we are going to teach you how to improve your shot selection on the singles game. To help you improve your shot selection, I chose some points from a match that I played and I recorded myself. So on this match we are going to show you some points with good shot selections and another ones with a bad shot selection and we'll see the outcome of those. So let's get on the first point. We see that this is a poor, uh, poor shot selection from my opponent. He serves to the tee, he has a good first serve to the tee. I decided to hit to return with an inside at backhand and making hit out of balance. So he serves, I return with the inside out, and once he's on his position, he has two options. He, he can hit down the line to the open spot, or he can hit cross court right to me. If he hits down the line and he doesn't hit a winner, I will take my back and I will make him run to the next corner. Now, if he hits cross court, he's hitting right to me, but he doesn't need to recover all the way to the middle, he just needs to recover a couple of steps and he will be in a good position. So, on this, on this case, he decides to hit right down the line, and since he's out of balance, that's a risky shot and he misses it. Now have here a longer point, have a few rallies, some cross court rallies, high balls here. Now here, where the here is when the when we decide out the point. He's in a good position to change down the line, so he decides to change down the line. What happens? He changes not good enough, so I can get to this ball with balance. Here I can do two things: I can make him run with a forehand cross court, or I can try to hit behind him with a shot down the line. If I decide to hit on the line, I need to be really aggressive or, again, he will take his back end and he will make me run very easily. So, I decide to go down the line, it's a good shot, I take him out of balance again, we can see that his ball is again looking to the fence, so it's very hard for him to see me coming in, and I decide to come in and close in at the net, hitting to the open spot again. So, on this point he serves again to the tee, now in, in this case I decide to return with a backhand cross court instead of the inside out backhand, so in this case I need to return a little bit closer to the middle. He does a good slice down the line, I hit a good cross court shot. Now he makes me run because my shot was very short, so he hits it very aggressively. Now in this case I get out of balance, I got two choices again, I can hit down the line. We can see here that there is a big open spot, open spot right here or I can hit cross court. The best choice right here is to go cross court, since going down the line again uh, when we are out of balance is really risky. The percentage of making that shot in is very, very low. That's why even if he's waiting for me here, I should go cross court. So I decide to go down the line, and since I'm out of balance, I miss the ball again. Surf out wide. He returns great cross court. From here, I can only go down the line because even if he is on the other corner, and I'm out of balance, I have too much space on this course, I can even make it to the middle of the court, so I hit it to the middle, but that's when he does a mistake. He has a ball here in the middle of the court, he can hit behind me, or he can hit to the open spot here with the forehand cross court. He decides to go behind me, I was waiting for him over there, then I'm making him hit the, the volley over there, and he misses it. A pretty long point here. His serve is out wide, so the only thing I can do from this position is return deep cross court because if I return down the line, he's gonna hit a winner with his 14 cross court. So I return there. He tries to hit to the open spot, that is not a good shot. So we get into the rally. That's a good cross court shot. Now, I hit a good cross court shot. He hits out of balance. He hits the ball late, so he lets the ball short and to my back end. And once I'm here, he's on that corner, the best choice I have is hit a backhand cross court and come in to close at the net. So that's what I do, I hit the backhand cross court aggressively and come in and he cannot get to the ball. Very good, so on this point, that's a different, that's a different situation. I serve at white, he returns down the line. 
I made him run down the line now and try to hit behind him, but now he's giving me a short ball over there. He's me a short ball on the forehand side and I'm pretty wide. So on this position I can I have two options again. I can hit down the line winner or I can hit a, a cross court winner. Down the line is gonna be tough since the ball is low and the net is gonna be higher. It's a low percentage shot. Now when I go cross court I can go deep cross court or short cross court. Since, since I'm pretty open out wide, the best option right here is going short cross court. So this why I will make him run to the side and forward and it's gonna be harder for him to get it. So that's the shot that I end up hitting and I hit a winner with that one. He serve a wide cross court return again. Same situation. I return cross court deep. He gets out of balance. He tries to hit to the open spot, being out of balance down the line, he misses the shot. Serve to the T. I make him move. So in this position I decide to go down the line even if I'm on the corner. Because I can get to the ball pretty easily and with balance. I open the court very good, so he is very... He's even passing the double alley over there. So on this situation, I cannot hit behind him. Even if he hits a good cross-court shot, once I'm here, I get out of... I get with balance. I'll go for the underline winner, since there is so much court open right here. So I hit a good shot down the line with my forehand, and I keep coming in to close at the net. Always after I hit the underline shot with the forehand, I hit the next volley short to the other corner, so it's why I can make him, I can make him move in case he gets to the ball. Now this is different. I was returning most of times cross court with my backhand. Now this time he hits a good first serve, I hit the ball late, the ball goes down the line. So after I hit on the line, he's making him he's making me run so easily with his fortune and he ends up the point very easily. Good return. I open the court again. He does the same mistake. He goes down the line on a shot out of balance, he misses the shot. Okay, here we have a completely different situation. He's serving and coming. So when he serves and coming, since he is not really open in the court, I have my forehand here without moving. I'm gonna try to find the first ball, a low volley to his feet. So it's where he's not gonna get any kind of angles. And hopefully he's gonna hit the ball right to me. If I try to hit down the line and he's not a down the line winner, he's gonna take his back end volley and he's gonna hit to the open spot here. Very easy for him. So he said to, to his feet. He has a tough volley, but he makes his back. And now on the next shot, I get with balance right here with my forehand. And that's when I go for the winner down the line. Inside of back and return again, he makes me run. Now, this is the shot that I'm out of balance and I go down the line for the on the line winner, but I'll explain why. On this situation, I'm up 4 5 and it's love 30. So he serves as well, he does a great first serve. He serves to a T, sorry. I hit an inside of back end. He makes me run cross court, but since I'm up on the game and if I win this point, I will get three three set points, I try to take the risk and go for the winner shot. And in this case, I get lucky and I make the winner over there. I couldn't try to go for that shot in case if on this same game it's a 30 all for example, situation. I would be too risky, so I would try to go cross ground and keep working on the point. We have the same situation here. He's serving. I try to go to his feet again, I hit right to him, very low, so he's gonna have a very tough first volley. And now instead of going down the line, I decide to go cross court because I cannot get to the ball with balance. So since I'm on the run, I decide to go with a passing shot cross court instead of down the line, easily. I turn down the line. We have the same situation here. I do a first serve, a first serve out wide. He tries to be aggressive going down the line. But from there, if he, if he doesn't hit a winner, I can get to my with my back end and I can hit cross court very easily to the open court and he cannot get to the ball. That's why it's very important a lot of times if we are not going for the winner, keep going cross court.
Yes, so good. Now I can go cross court on that situation because it's a different situation. It's a, it's a second serve and I can be more aggressive going cross court with that backhand. He defends low, I change down the line. So I'm making him run corner to corner. He serves to the T. I return cross court, making him run. He keeps it low. Most of times when he hits a low ball and it's short, I will go cross court. But in this situation, since I'm on the me of the court, I can decide to go down the line and look at all the court that is open over there. So I decide to go there, keep making him move, he cannot get to the ball. On the line, I go cross go again. Open the court. Now in this situation, I do a big mistake here. He goes to the ball, he opens the court with a short angle, I'm out of balance, the ball is very low. The shot that I should hit is a short cross court angle again and take him out of balance, but I do the mistake of going down the line. And we can see that he can get to the ball very easily, he has so much court open. On this case I get really lucky because he misses the ball, but I did a big mistake on that point. My opponent plays great on this point, he opens me the court with a back end cross court and then he changes down the line. Even if I hit cross court in this situation, he had a great back end, so he could pull it away. So on this last point, we can see that I did another mistake. I changed perfectly there. Now he's gonna give me a shorter ball, and instead of going here to the open, to the open spot with, the, with my forehand down the line, I try to hit behind him, he was waiting for me, so when I come into the net, he gets me and he can put away the next volley very easily.